Good morning, folks. We've got deadly weather events and top choice science news this morning. We're looking at the sun and we see no sunspots, but there's still space weather of note. Let's go to spaceweathernews.com and find the trailing portions of the southern coronal hole are turning through at high latitude. The leading edge of them was closer to the equator, however, and its solar wind is affecting Earth mildly this morning. You can see the purple plasma speed of the stream increasing over the last day and a half, bringing geomagnetic conditions up off the floor but still relatively quiet. Now we'll have eyes open for intensified solar wind streams, which would intensify geomagnetic conditions, but we'll also have eyes open for extended runs of KP0 as cosmic ray alerts do kick in harder when they're consecutive events. Let's go to the Indian Ocean. That cyclone is finally reaching Somalia after dancing for days offshore. As it shifts inland and slightly south, the system even further south is strengthening and becoming a tremendously powerful cyclone on approach to Madagascar. That'll be arriving early next week. We're going next to Burundi. Landslides have killed dozens, taking out roadways and the edges of villages, with some cases seeing entire families buried under the mud. The record snowfall continues in the north, City after city across the world and in Japan, they join the white season this week. But coming back to the U.S., powerful low off the coastline set to deliver yet another round of rainfall and flash flooding to the west coast. It is not quite going to qualify as an atmospheric river, an arc storm, but it's close. And those are the focus of a new study showing the vast majority of flood-related damage in the west is due exactly to those formations of moisture streaming in from the central Pacific like this, the Pineapple Express. Up next, more from the Parker Solar Probe here. The Michigan team is focused on the rotational anomalies in the solar wind. So the same plasma that rotates with the sun is the radially ejected solar wind we see streaming straight away from it here at Earth. So where does it switch from rotating to ejecting out? Well, not exactly where they thought. There was 20 times the rotational flows expected at its close approach distance adding to the specter of a secret sitting within our star. Asteroid Bennu is up next, and while one of the particle bursts from its surface gave incredible visuals months ago, the science analysis and particle tracing is complete, as they've also detailed the unbelievable temperature changes endured by the space rock as it does its four to five hour rotation. Up next is one for the entire west coast of the North Americas, Cascadia and San Andreas are linked. This not only broadens the potential data analysis used to forecast big quakes off the U.S. and Canadian coastlines, but it may indicate that when one goes, the other may not be far behind. Lastly on the news front, we've got scientists using the latest Gaia data to refine the mass of the Milky Way galaxy. Now we've heard that there could be a hundred billion stars, maybe just as many rogue planets, with some stars being Jupiter-sized and some millions of solar masses. They do say now here that the entire mass of the Milky Way is about a trillion suns, and sadly, that is still likely way too low. Never mind that they forgot to include the mass of their precious dark matter, which they use to fix the galactic rotation problem, and which isn't real but also is required under the paradigm they are using. In reality, what they're missing is the extra dust and gas and rogue planets and red and brown dwarf stars and all the other tiny, harder-to-see populations. And this is why the plasma cosmology is so crucial. This is why we can't ignore the electromagnetic effects of solar plasma on the terrestrial climate, and why we can't afford to ignore the implications of the large-scale structure of the galaxy on the rare recurrent events of our star. We greatly appreciate your support. Watch our movies on plasma, climate, and catastrophe, and learn more at our homepage with playlists on space weather, the atmosphere, outer space, and more. We've got wind map forecasts and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.